Akron Fush. Let's have a quick look. Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with a quick look video. Today we're having a quick look at this. The Fush Semi Mech Mod from Akron. It is, it's a Semi Mech Mod. That is what they're calling it, a Semi Mech Mod. So basically what this is, is a Mech Mod, an 18650 Mech, but um, with, I'll just turn that off, one, two, three. Uh, it's a semi mech mod, but um, with built-in safety features and this light system, as you can see, which may look mental on camera. I don't know; haven't seen it back yet, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a semi mech mod with built-in uh, safety features and all that type of stuff. So it's an unregulated device, which means just like a mech mod, it's putting out the power that uh, the battery can deliver straight to the atomizer. So it'll start around four volts, it'll work its way down. Then you'll need to stick it on the charger. Obviously, there's no way to charge this on board. It is, in all manner of speaking, a mech, but just with additional safety features. So it's got voltage, low voltage protection, short protection and all that sort of stuff. Um, speaking of uh, short protection, it can vape down to 0 0.07 ohms, they say. Um, so that is very, very low. It's definitely as low as I'd be willing to go on an 18650. Um, so yeah, it, that's that's its absolute limit. And I think you can use it up to like two and a half ohms or something like that in the other direction. I've got the Sahara on from 3C Vape. And uh, I think it's looking okay. It's uh, got stainless steel on stainless steel. And then I've got the, the rest of the mod. They do now have, uh, very recently, have added colours. So the, the bit that's stainless steel on here, you can now get in black and white, I believe, as well. Um, so they've added those to their arsenal. They said they have improved the safety aspect of this mod. Now, I saw that um, Mark TVP, the vaping postman, he had a, a safety issue with his mod. I believe it started auto firing or something like that. Um, and I don't know much much of the details with that. I haven't had any issues with mine, but he did have with his. So if you're super keen on this, maybe check out his video first, or maybe he's had an update from the manufacturer. I'm not sure, um, but his went bad. Um, mine seems absolutely fine. And I know there's a lot of these out in the wild in the world, and I haven't heard too many complaints. So yeah. Check out his video if you're concerned and worried about that. Um, so yeah, semi mech mod, it's got this lighting system. So how this works is five clicks on, five clicks off, uh, which means you know you can carry it around in your pocket without it firing. Uh, five clicks on, five clicks off, and then as a standard, it just looks like this, and it just sort of looks like a gray, sort of see-through-y type thing. But when you go one, two, three, it lights up as you can see this is the pink color i don't know what color it looks like on there because it's all neon and it might look weird um so you can have it lit up uh, so i'm not sure exactly why i guess uh some people will like that but uh, you can light it up all colorful and that to change the color you go like bang like that you throw it so it's now sort of a whitey sort of color bang ready sort of orangey color boosh green so you can go through the colors like that and you basically just sort of whip it to um to change the colors if you don't like the, the color thing i don't know why you'd have this mod but if you don't like the color thing or you just want to turn it off for a bit while you're not using it um then you just go three clicks one two three and the color thing turns off uh, so that's how that works but the rest for all intents and purposes it's just uh, a semi mech mod In terms of its performance and stuff, um, it's it it seems to be a very nice hitting mod. I'm not I'm not detecting when I've put this at a, onto a standard mech to see if there's any sort of noticeable difference. I'm not noticing any major difference at all. It seems to be vaping absolutely fine. Um, it, the battery life i was worried about the lights with the battery life so i left the lights on and to be honest it didn't really make much difference uh, to the battery life having the lights on the battery life was very very good and it's nice that it tells you when to change the batteries anyway so that's all good um so battery life not a big issue i suppose if you think about it logically the light compared to vaping you know the the, the amp drawer on it being all lit up is going to be like 0.03 
whereas the amp draw when you're vaping on it's going to be like 20 amps <laughs> so i guess uh that the, the light thing isn't going to make a big difference to battery life um so yeah so it's it's hitting pretty well battery life's pretty good I really like the button. I've got to say, I really like the button. Um, I can't really get into here to mess with it um, as such, but uh, it's just got a really soft, spongy throw, and it's not too far of a throw either. I like the throw on the switch. I really do. It's a nice feel uh, on there. In terms of length and all that sort of stuff, it's quite long. Now, it's got the light system in there. It's got the safety board in there. Comparing it to a standard 21700 mech, it is a lot taller. It is a lot taller. Um, it goes all the way up. It goes all the way up. So the actual mod is as tall as a Dreamer 21700 with a dead rabbit on top, virtually, minus the drip tip. So it's a very, very tall device. Very, very tall 18650 device. Uh, but I guess there's not a lot they can do about that. In terms of at the top here, we've got a spring loader, not a spring loader, but a standard 510. Um, everything seems to be going down flush, no problems. And it seems the optimal uh, width of an RDA on here is 25 mil, so not bad at all. Like I say, I think the Sahara is looking pretty nice. The Sahara has a similar sort of clear plastic bit on top, so I think it matches up quite nice with the Fush. Um, so that is that is it really. Um, obviously, as I always say, this type of thing isn't superly my style. It isn't something I would necessarily go out and get, but uh, I. I I got my hands on it at Expo, so I thought I would give it a look and give it a quick video. Um, it's good fun. It's a good bit of fun. I'm enjoying the vape on it. I do like a Mac vape, so it's very, very much the same as that. Uh, but with that built-in safety stuff, um, the vape is absolutely fine on it. The light show is crazy, but I guess some people like crazy. Um, so if you're interested in that, if you're interested in that, check that out. It's not really a full review, but there's not really anything else to show you on here. It is what it is. Three click, five clicks on, five clicks off, three clicks to mess around with the light, whip it to change colour. Um, and that is how it works, basically. So that is all there really is to it. It's just a case of what you stick on top. I think it's pretty doody. I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely really, really well made and well put together. I haven't got any prices for this or anything, but I'll try and put some links in the description if I find some. Overall, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, not necessarily my style, but uh, no real complaints in terms of performance or build quality or anything like that. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, like and subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.